Hi, it's Nicole McGuirk for the Mama Elephant December Stampede, and today I have a card share for you featuring the brand new Love Quote stamp set, and also um, I'm using the brand new Landscape Trio die set. So what I did first was I cut down a piece of card stack, cardstock slightly smaller than the front of a standard card, and I'm going to take the sun rays from the Sunny Skies stamp set and I'm inking them up with some of the Sunshine Mama Elephant ink and I'm just going to stamp the sun rays all along my card like you see here. I'm lining it up a little bit but it doesn't have to be perfect down there at the bottom because I'm going to be covering up that part with the clouds. So I'm just going to keep stamping all of the sun rays along the top part of the card. I like to turn mine to the side. It helps, I think, it helps me when I'm stamping to be able to line it up a little bit easier. And you can see I bumped the stamp before I actually stamped it there. But again, I'm going to cover that up so all is well. That won't bother anything. And I did start from the center and work my way out from each side. So I'm just going to fill in just a little bit on each of these corners. I don't have to go quite all the way down to the bottom, but I need to fill in just a little bit more. And that is finished. Next I'm going to take the Wink of Stella Clear Glitter Brush Tip Marker and I am just going to color over each of the sun rays to give them a little bit of sparkle. And my pen, what the liquid, glitter liquid, wasn't coming out very good, so I just pounced it on my craft sheet there to get, get the fluid flowing again. Just keep tracing over all of these until I am finished and have all of those have some nice sparkle. I think it just really adds to the sunshine feel of the card. Next, I am going to take the Landscape Trio, and this is a really great new die set from Mama Elephant that has this cloud border and then a couple of wavy borders that are perfect for landscapes, um, all kinds of different things. But I'm going to use just the cloud border for this card. And I have a piece of cardstock that is already trimmed to the width of my piece of cardstock that I stamped the sun rays on. And I am simply going to just cut a couple of borders to layer along the bottom edge of my card. So there is one. And one of the great things about this particular die is it has this awesome stitched border, which just really adds to the detail. So there's what that looks like. Even just one cloud border looks so nice against that sun background. Then I'm going to take my die and the rest of that cardstock and cut just another border that I can layer on the front of the one that I just cut. Pop that out and there are my two borders for my card. So that just that looks really cute. That's a great start for my card. Next I'm ready to use the Love Quotes stamp set and I'm going to just ink up the two birds from the stamp set with some Mama Elephant ink, or some Memento black ink rather and then I'm going to use colored pencils to color them in and some Gamsol to blend in the colors. So what I did was use some yellow on the, the belly of the bird and colored in the cheeks a little bit darker with a red and then I'm using some pinks for the the body of the bird. A little bit lighter on the body and then a little bit darker up on the head. What you want to do is you don't want to color over your lightest color too much or it will completely blend out. Um, but you can go over it several times to get the exact coloring that you want. So I usually start by blending in my lightest color and then move to my darkest one and, and blend it into the light color if that makes sense. And then that way I don't blend it out so much that you lose that variation of color. So I'm using just a little bit of red even for, for part of the bird to blend it into the pink. 
So you can see I did the belly, then I did the cheeks, and then I'm kind of blending the rest of the body of the bird into those lighter colors. And I brush off anything excess I have there before going back to that lighter color. And you can go over it and over it as much as you need to pretty much. So those are my cute little pink birds. Add some red for the nose and gray for the feet. And then I am ready to die cut these. Oh, I did add a little bit, bit of the black Sakura marker to the eyes of the one bird and some Wink of Stella, the clear glitter marker again to the bellies. And then I stamped my greeting with the Lollipop Mama Elephant ink. I also stamped the word bubble from the Love Quote stamp set. It has this awesome outline stamp and then there's also a filler stamp if you want to stamp um, a couple, you know, the frame or the uh, outline, I guess I should say, and then the the inside of the thought bubble, and then you could layer even the the greeting on top of that. I'm going to take the bubble gum ink, and I decided that that was a little too close to the lollipop ink, so I decided to go with the blush ink instead, and added a little stamped heart next to my greeting, and then I'm going to grab the coordinating dies for this set. These are the Love Quotes dies. There's the Thought Bubble plus the two birds and I'm just going to use sticky notes to hold those in place and run that through my Big Shot. And I'll pop all those pieces out and put my card together. So there are my cute little birds on the sunshine background. the greeting thought bubble and I did add a little glitter marker to that heart there and then the last thing I decided to do for my card is I took the tag die and it, it comes with um, several small little borders of image or uh, it, hearts and stars and things and I took the hearts and die cut those out of a couple colors of pink cardstock and they're real teeny tiny, so they were perfect for this, and then glued them in place along my card. And I'm also applying the birds, the greeting, and that cloud in the front with foam adhesive. I'm going to use my Zig Glue pen to add those two little hearts there. Nice little hearts going throughout the card, kind of finish it off and really give it that nice, polished, finished look. Last thing I'm going to do is take some glossy accents and place that on top of the little hearts there and let that dry. Thanks for watching this video featuring the Mama Elephant Love Quote Stamp Set. We'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.